My name is Tamia Shera, author of the book called Life is a 15 Round Boxing Ring Championship. And I am so excited today because I will be interviewing Jermaine Maki, better known as Choo Choo. Now, I have known Choo Choo over the years, but there may be some people that may not know who Choo Choo is. So with that being said, Choo Choo, tell us who Choo Choo Maki is. Good afternoon, Bahamas. Um, well, uh, Choo Choo Maki is a Long Island boy, first of all. <laughs> uh, came to Nassau and grew up in the Camp Road area of Williams Lane and Taylor's Alley. Um, Back then, uh, we didn't have running water, and I had to go to the pump to get the water. And I would usually get picked on because I was this curly hair boy from Long Island. Uh, a friend of mine uh, introduced me to Mr. Ray Manish Jr., who teaches boxing because I was beaten up a lot. Um, so I learned how to fight, and um, from when I put on the Bahamas uniform, to represent my country from then, I knew what I wanted to do. So I started off as an amateur boxer, winning gold medals in Carifters, going to Commonwealth, Pan American Games. I turned professional in 2006 because when I came from England to the Commonwealth Games, hey, I needed to pay some bills. <laughs> and um, just wanting to be a winner uh, took me to where I've been in this world. Um, I won the Bahamas Super Middleweight title, WBA, WBC Caribbean titles. I've fought for the Commonwealth title. I've won that. I've fought two former world champions and fought for enormous of other belts. Wow. So, Choo Choo, obviously you're great, right? <laughs> you the GOAT. Mm -hmm. And what I really like about it is the fact that where you came from, you came from Camp Road, as you say, dealing with water, your stories. In the ghetto. Yeah, mm -hmm. in the ghetto, mm -hmm. right. And you're a champion, you're a winner. And I wanna ask you this question. What advice or what's the ideal pathway for me to become an effective boxer? Because like you say, for you, you had to fight your way and that made you become a boxer. Now, I may be able to throw some odds, but I really, <laughs> you uh, know. Um... So how do you, how can I, be for those that say, okay, I want to be a boxer. How can I be an effective boxer? Well, um, boxing is not for everybody. If mm. you would notice, a lot of wow. people try to box. Uh, we teach self-defense classes, but uh, boxing isn't for everybody. It's an individual sport, and it actually takes a lot, you know, because most people would be like, you let somebody beat you up, and you come out the ring, and that's it, yeah, you know, you gotta be a little bit crazy like we say, yeah. you know, understand? But um, it all depends on the individual. Um, I had a lot um, built up inside of me that I wanted to travel the world and I never knew how right. I was gonna be able to travel and true boxing took me all over. Um, you name it, I've been there, all over the Caribbean nations, all over Europe, you know. Um, England, I could always recall when I went to England and I told them I'm from the Bahamas, they was like, hey, you speak English very really well. I was like, yeah, we were colonized by England. And they said, you know, I dreamed to go there one day. So I, I knew I was from someplace special. And although we only have 300,000 people, hey, the Bahamas is great. Yes. Uh, but going back to your main question, um, it all depends on determination. Uh, will and what you really want in life. You have yeah. to push forward because um, I wasn't the best in skill set, but I developed. Um, I developed myself and I went to the gym every day and I try out to be a better boxer than most. Wow. I, I appreciate your drive and your ability to keep on going and not give up. It's like you're not just a fighter, but you're a fighter mentally, physically, just getting up. And that's, I feel like that's what made you a champion too. And what's so amazing about it is, my book talk about it as well. We going through challenges in life, but if we have the mindset to think that we are a winner like Choo Choo and keep fighting and getting back up, we will become a winner. I really and honestly, Choo Choo, respect that about you. And so I want to ask you, based on my understanding, one of the most important parts of this boxing experience is training camp. What is training camp for those that may not know? And I know you had championship matches. How was that experience for you? For that training camp, what all did you do to prepare yourself, whether mentally or physically? Well, um, 
training, the training camps were really hard. Um, I had uh, Coach Ray Minus uh, Junior in my field along with his father, okay. Ray Minus Senior, Senior, his bigger brother, uh, Ronaldo Minus, and all the Minuses. So um, basically, they broke me down and they built me back up. Um, I got weapons like a job, um, how to win a fight with a job, and I learned how to throw uh, my hooks and actually glove sight because sparring is very important and getting glove sight. So, um, and then moving into the championship rounds, um, championship fight, uh, I started off as a novice. I fought a former uh, fighter that who had, who has had uh, world experience, Marvel, Marvelous Marvin Smith. And uh, he really helped me, uh, push me and show me that, hey, if you want to actually be a champion, you got to come through me and you got to really have what it takes. And once I was able to defeat him, um, that even pushed me further to say, hey, you have world quality skills and you need to move ahead. But it all depends on your determination. Right. Um, you have to be able to push forward and go through uh, the, down, the, the good and the bad times yeah, that's true. and commit yourself to the event. Right. And your determination too is mentally how you you had it mentally in, in your mind to say, no matter what, I'm not going to give up. And honestly, that's, that's great. So my next question for you is, what qualities makes a good boxer? Uh, well, look, you, you have to have uh, determination and you need to have a good character. Yeah, that's a, true. As a fighter, you know, and, wow. and everything in life, you need a good character. And a good character means that you would choose to do the right thing, although it's easier to choose to, to, choose to do the wrong thing. And right. you have to be, you gotta have to have a conscience. You gotta that's say, true. you know what? Hey, this is wrong. I'm not going to do this. I'm gonna go the right way and stay steadfast to it. Because right. it's, it's easier to do, uh, to just turn a blind eye. That's true. That is true. So, how have you ever won a champion, and how did you win the champion? Well, um, my first championship fight, I fought uh, the Bohemian champion, okay. and really, um, I won that by uh, determination and longevity. Wow! You know, because I I knew that the caliber fight, fighter I was fighting had the power to destroy me, basically to knock That's me true. out. And I stayed away from him. I job, I box, I move, and. Uh, it, it gives me perseverance and I won in on points. Wow, wow. So obviously you are a champion, Choo Choo. And the last question I have for you is, how is your experience of being a boxer overall been? Well, hey, it's, it's, it's a wonderful experience, you know. I got to put on the Bahamas uniform and right. represent my country. You know, I, I don't think the only greater feeling I had than that is my kids coming into this world, Jermaine, wow. Janine, and Madison, you know, to represent my country, to travel the world, and people tell you, hey, I dream to go there one day. Right. And I, you know, there's no greater feeling than being an ambassador for your country. That is true. And I just want to say thank you so much, Choo Choo. I appreciate your drive, your determination, your ability to be a winner and not giving up. And like I say, where you came from is a great example for persons to see, okay, it doesn't matter where I grew up, it doesn't matter where I came from, but if I have it in my mind and I keep on pushing and I keep on striving, we could be champions just like you. And I just wanna say thank you so much for everyone that is listening. And I appreciate you and I wanna say keep doing what you are doing. Thank you so much. So now I'm a referee and judge with the Bahamas Boxing Federation. Wow. And we are looking to inspire a new generation of boxers and to keep the sport going. And I just want to say to uh, parents out there, boxing is a contact sport. Yes, it might be violent, but hey, it opens doors for all kids. Okay, so if you have a, a child with a low self-esteem, it will help them with that. And it's boys or girls. Okay, bring them to the gym. Yes. We have to train them. <laughs> yes, and I also want to say too, not only bring them to the gym, but you can also purchase my book on Amazon. Just type in my name, Tommy Yashera, T-O-M-I-A space S-H-E-A-R-E-R, -E -R, and you will see all of my books there. Have a great day. Be blessed.